Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to change the motor speed on either a gas furnace or an all-electric heater. They are exactly the same when it comes to changing the motor speeds. The tools we will need will be an amp clamp. The easiest way to do this without, if you don't have a wiring schematic, this one has no wiring schematic, um, all the information is down on the motor, without taking it apart and looking, is just to turn it on, allow it to run, while you amp out one of the wires. You set your electrical tester to, to amps, amp the wire out with the motor running. Once you have, a, have that reading, turn it off, and then change motor speeds. Disconnect this motor wire here. Now, if you'll notice, the yellow wire is going back to the terminal block, block and we have these three other, these three motor wires. So these are the three that we're going to change the speeds with. Don't, just, don't change the yellow wire. So, all I would do is I would put a terminal end on the red, reconnect it to the same place the black was, turn it on, get my amp reading, and then finally I would do the same thing with the blue wire. The, the wire with the highest amp reading is your high speed. The one with the middle is your middle speed, and the one with the lowest amp reading will be your low speed. Now it is important the two wire motor speeds that are not used here, you cannot wire nut those together. This will short out your motor. The motor feeds electricity through all the windings, and even though these aren't being utilized, there is still the potential at the end of each wire. This concludes our tutorial on changing the motor speed of a gas furnace or an all-electric unit. Please watch our other tutorials at supercoolslidereel.com. Thank you. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself as well as your customers to own this tool. It's less than $20 including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.